Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to the video. I am smack dab in the middle of a Hollybro Kukute F7 build. And this puppy's going to have some Emacs BL Heli 32 ESCs and all sorts of other goodies. Uh, we're going to be going with a Caddx camera for the FPV. And we'll be going with this 600 milliwatt Lumineer TX5G Pro. And uh, this thing's gonna be awesome. But anyhow, that's not that's not what I'm here to talk about right now. Be on the lookout for that series. Uh, subscribe to the channel and that full build is forthcoming. But that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for today is to talk about telemetry. And what am I talking about? Well, let's go ahead and hit this button right here and then let's hit this button right here and then let's go down. So what you're looking at right here is live telemetry. This is all data right now as we speak, and it's being fed to us from our flight controller because we set up telemetry between our receiver and our flight controller. And that is what we're gonna talk about in this video. And the whole purpose of that is because in the next video, we're gonna take it one step further. Instead of looking at this boring screen, we're gonna incorporate telemetry so that we get some good critical information as opposed to, well, I don't know, the channel monitor and the big picture of the quad although it's pretty i'd rather have some good telemetry information there know what's going on hey did you know that this was video 12 in my long series on the radio master tx 16 s and or other modern open tx radios out there it's uh, as long as it's running open tx a lot of this stuff is relevant um yeah so long series on this radio uh go ahead and slap up a uh, uh a quick playlist here of all the things that we've already talked about can't believe we're on video 12 i've already got plans for video 13 and who knows what's going to happen after that and i should probably mention that this whole series is based on the fr sky d8 and d16 protocols and we are using betaflight as our flight controller software so I still think those of you who are not using any of that stuff can still benefit from the series because I, I'm primarily focused on OpenTX. Do me a favor, stick around. It's going to get good, man. It is going to get good. So here's where we're at with this thing. Um, I'm going to be connecting this F7 flight controller to this FreeSky R XSR, which is a FreeSky D16 protocol with 16 channels on it, and it's got telemetry. Hard to believe this little itty bitty thing right here. Um, that's just amazing. All right, so anyhow, what we want to do is we want to look at these pinouts right here. All right, what is important to note is the order of which these wires are coming out of the receiver. It's black, red, yellow, green. All right, so if we take a look at the directions that come with this thing, black is ground, red is five volts, yellow is the S port, and green is the S bus out. And essentially what I've done is I just followed the directions that came with this Hollybro. So here's the directions online at the Hollybro website. I gotta say that these directions were put together very, very well. And it's really, they, they couldn't make it any simpler. Let's take a look at the first thing that's relevant. You must use a receiver that supports a serial protocol such as SBUS. All right, check. We got that one taken care of. All right, so for all receiver types, solder the receiver signal wire to the pad in R6. We have identified the green wire or our fourth wire as our SBUS because it says so right here, the fourth one down. And what they're telling us to do with it is they're telling us to go to R6. Well, where's R6? R6 is circle number one, number two, number three. So if we go to our quad, we've got circle number one, circle number two, circle number three is the green wire, and that is on R6, all right? Note, note that the red one is going here and the black one is going here. The black is on ground. You can actually see ground right there. You can't see what the red one is, but that's the five volt source. And then the yellow one is our smart port, and that was going to TX4, and that's exactly where ours is going. And you can see where this is ground, you can see where the second dot is five volts, and then two more up is, is the TX4. All right, so basically all that was to say, just follow the diagrams in the directions and you'll be able to wire this thing correctly. All right, so if you've got an older receiver like this uh, FR Sky X8R, you can make your own telemetry wire. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the signal side from a common three wire servo, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna solder him into the third wire of a 
four wire. JST, I think, is what this one is, but that's what it looks like. All right, so if you're using an older X8R or something like that, uh, you're probably used to plugging into the S bus down here at the bottom and then having the other end go into the flight controller. And all you're going to do with this one is uh, on the S port side. All right, so if you notice on this side right here, there's a smart port connector, which is using a common uh, three wire servo cable. And you're just going to want the signal side. And then that is going to go into one of the UARTs on your flight controller. And it's that simple. All right, so let's take a look at the X8R first. If we go ahead and plug him in. All right, if we go into beta flight and we go to ports. All right, so we're on the ports tab and uh, UART 1 is just on. UART 2 is going to be set to smart port. And UART 3 is our S bus. Just make sure that that is checked right there for serial RX. And we're going to save and reboot. All right, and then moving on uh, to configuration. All right, down here, you just want to make sure that telemetry is selected. And save and reboot. And we're good to go. And go ahead and disconnect out of here. And go ahead and give some power to this guy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to long press on my model and I'm going to kind of go through the pages right here until I get to, I forget what it's called, but I'm going to get there soon enough. Imagine that's called telemetry. All right, so the quad is plugged in with the battery and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll down here and kind of show you some stuff. Notice that I don't have any sensors, but if I go up here to discover new sensors and I click on it. Ooh, look at that. And now I can say stop discovery and check this out. I got 13 sensors now, a whole bunch of sensors. And now the whole point of uh, what we're going to be doing in the next video is we're going to be able to pick and choose these sensors that we want, and we're going to be able to display them as widgets. So let's take a look at the other quad. All right, as you may recall, this guy's only partially built, but his UART settings are going to be dramatically different. All right, first thing I want to do with the F7 is uh, hook him into beta flight. And our ports on this one are going to be vastly different. So on this one, your USB is turned on. And then if you come all the way down to UART 4, remember on TX4, that's where we put our smart port. So UART 4 is going to be the smart port. UART 6 is where we put our S bus. So there's our serial RX right there. So serial RX on six and smart port on four is what you want to do for our good friend, uh, the F7. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. All right. So uh, next thing we're going to do with our F7 is give him some juice. And he is now plugged in. All right. So we've got the F7 turned on and it's got juice. For this guy, it's going to be pretty much the exact same drill. Let's go here. Let's go to the telemetry page. I did that by pressing the back instead of going through all the pages again. So let's go down to discover new sensors and go ahead and stop discovery. See, this time we have 18, 18 that we can play with. All right. So there it is setting up telemetry on an older X8R and on the newer, newer, uh, RXSR. They are both FreeSky D16 protocol 16 channel receivers with telemetry. So went ahead and unplugged the F7. All right. So there it is. We learned how to get telemetry off of uh, two different receivers. And uh, the whole purpose of this is that we're going to get into these widgets next video. We are going to learn how to set up the widgets and, you know, basically set up some of that interesting telemetry information so that, uh, um, you know, we've got something to look at besides, you know, a picture of our quad and, and, and the channel thing, as much as I love the channel thing. Uh, getting telemetry information probably a little bit more useful. So be on the lookout for that in the next video. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you found value in the video, please do me a favor, hit that little bell, get notifications of future videos because I got lots and lots and lots of videos coming out. And if you really like the video, if you really like the video, do me a favor, share on social media, tell somebody, 
tell people that Tahoe Steve is making videos about FPV racing drones and the radio and everything else that is associated with it. So that's it. I'm Steve signing off till the next video. Thank you for staying until the end. See ya.